with all the rubbish to God. Um, I think as Christian women, a lot of times we think that, you know, it has to be hard line. Like, firstly, I won't date you if God has not said it's you. Oh, yes. definitely. Sorry. No. Never. Yes. Yes. And I think oh. it's... <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and welcome to MB Moments. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, the button below. And if you're old and you're already a subscriber, welcome back to MB Moments. I am so excited to have amazing ladies. Guys, these human beings are so amazing. Like literally, I love you guys and I admire you so, so much. First ever guest on MB Moments. Are you excited? Absolutely. <laughs> Please kindly introduce yourselves. Hi guys, I'm Nogel Lozun. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Mina Masala. Awesome! Alright, so um, today's video, we're just going to start off and do something a bit fun, right? So I gave you guys um, like placards basically, like papers that say yes and no, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we just want to talk about like dating relationships and like expectations and things like that. Especially from like a, a godly woman or like a godly woman's perspective, right? So I have a few questions for you. Okay. Yes? Okay. And if the answer is yes, please hold up the yes for the viewers to see. And if the answer is no, please hold up the no. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're just really fun questions. Right. Okay. So the first question is, <clears throat> would you date a guy younger than you? Explain. Would you date a guy younger than No, that's cheating. <laughs> Can I tell you why? Okay. I used to have a no younger guys policy because I would lie. As a girls usually yeah, you like the guy to be older than you. But sometimes you find really mature um, younger guys mm -hmm. who are who've got great personalities. And I mean, if he's a great guy and he's got all the traits he wants in a guy, man, why not? So I am more skewed to the no. no. Okay. And I'm more skewed to the no because I'm just thinking about it. Okay. And about what I expect in a man. Mm -hmm. And as much as leadership is brought by a man, younger or older, mm -hmm. like I would appreciate if he's older. older. And we've seen, um, we don't even have to go perfectly on this, just on how we grow up as women and men. Most of the time, most of the time, we are maturing much faster. And if you are to lead me with my maturity, you must be older. <laughs> not, not all as in 10 years. Yeah. It could be just a head nyana. Just a head nyana. Just a head nyana. Like maybe a year, if God, if God two says years. Two years younger, but if God can truly say this is, this is, this is, this is your leader girl. And yeah, you must prove it. Oh, yes, yes, well now. <laughs> all right, okay, second question. Would you date a guy who is shorter than you? <laughs> okay. Mina, what's your answer? <laughs> okay, aren't these expectations or standards based on worldly beliefs? I, yes. I would say. Okay, can you explain why you would want to okay. date a tall um, guy? So this would be something that's coming from me. It's not even like God, God said it. it. Um, so it would be a request, like I'm just asking him very nicely, but if he says, that's not what I want. I'm like, okay, sure, I, it's okay. It, it, okay. It's, it's a, it's a, it's your personal it's preference. It's a personal preference, but if it doesn't align with God's will, anytime we will draw it out, it's okay. all right, it's okay. All so, because right. at the end of the day, as much as we have our own heart desires, what matters is God's will. And if it's not aligning, let it go. Okay, I like that. And no, no, why, why you're no? I just prefer a taller guy. <laughs> And I think there's there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I think um I think as Christian women, a lot of times we think that you know it has to be hard line, like yeah. everything should be it has to be God's will, yeah. and we're trying to be all spiritual yeah, about certain yeah. things. Yet you know God really cares about our, our desires, desires as well. and I think one important thing that I think a lot of people at times do is to over spiritualize as i say, I was about to say. and also yeah. um you know how um someone there's a preacher i think if you watch relationship goals yeah. by my uh, pastor michael todd he yeah. always says this, that if god can make you choose salvation yeah. what more your future husband god does give you the will <clears throat> to choose your partner he can guide you true to a man yeah. who will 
embody those principles in his word, but you get to choose. And it is completely okay to say, God, I would like this in my person. But he's a good father. In the same way your worldly father would want to give you something that you would love. Honestly, obviously mm-hmm. something that is aligned with his principles. Same way God wants to give you something what that you, you want. Love, you know? So exactly. that told man must come. Yeah. I always say this. I always envision this. You know how like on your wedding day, kiss the bride moment? Mm. Like you don't want to be the person who's going... <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's yeah. just awkward. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys. Yeah. Um, especially on this topic, because yes. my friends and I have been talking about this. Mm-hmm. And for me, especially with my experiences, I'm, I'm more on the God, you better make the decision. Because mm-hmm. the one thing that I did realize from relationships that I, and you know, based on character, like God always puts something within you. Definitely. So most of the time when you're working and the message is within you, your first glance is probably what he's willed for you because we all have our different preferences mm-hmm. and most of the time the preference is aligned with his most of the innocent preferences are aligned with his mm-hmm. when you make a decision that i am saved you now have to look into your heart and say holy spirit that things in my heart are desires that i have that are not aligned with you mm-hmm. and my world has taught me certain things and yes it may be hard yes i might be in pain yes i might cry but those things need to leave mm-hmm. and as those things leave your mind gets renewed as a moment as your mind gets yes. you you're now walking in God's will. I like the fact that you can choose your husband, but in your eyes, how far can they see to make that decision? You are choosing somebody you're going to make one body with. It's a lifetime with. It's, it's one body with. It's, it's a forever. You, your, your will, is going, your souls are going to be together. Yeah, you get to choose whether you want that or not. Yeah. But I also know that there are people who God says, Mm-mm, this is the person you're going to marry and it's for a purpose. I know in the Bible there's Hosea, right? God told him to go and marry a prostitute. He didn't have a choice. God was like, you are going to go and marry him. <laughs> marry her, you know? And I believe that there are circumstances like that where God can show you your future spouse. Because he, he's a good God. He, yeah. has, he has something to say about every single area of your life. And he can guide you. So I think, yeah, that's very profound. I completely yeah. like agree on that. So it's a, yo, it's it, and it's a struggle. Mm-hmm. It's always been like it, it's a it's a little tug of war. Yes. It's like your flesh going, but I like what I see. Oh, I like it. And your spirit going, but oh, you know. <laughs> that that you know, it, yes, you know, definitely. That ain't it. Because at the end of the day, the goal should not to be satisfying our own needs. The goal is supposed to be satisfying God's will. Because well. what you said was so beautiful. We are here for His glory, mm-hmm. and we have to have full trust. Him. Do you think that our expectations as women who fear God are too high? Because I've um, I've spoken to some people and I really just express that, okay, the word of God says we have to be equally yoked, yeah. right? I can't be in a relationship with somebody who is not equally yoked with me. Um, the word of God expects purity from me. Mm-hmm. The word of God also expects purity from him. Yeah. And purity is not even about, you know... Um, me saving myself from a future for my future husband or anything like that it's a covenant between god and i yeah. you know and when i express that to some of my friends or like just in society in general people are like girl your expectations are too high is that even still possible in today's society what do you think what's your take on that um well first of all like just to comment on the last points that we've been making so far, mm-hmm. you know, the Bible does say in Psalms or Proverbs, I'm not too sure, mm-hmm. that those who diligently seek him, he will give the desires of their heart. So you find that the root of everything in Christ is to spend time in his presence and mm-hmm. be renewed by him. So if it's not a land of God's will, he can change that desire over time. Mm-hmm. But there is absolute because he's a father and he wants us to be transparent. Yeah. So you find that people are holding back because they're saying, No Ooh. God, I want to come with this perfect come with all the rubbish mm. to God. That's True. what matters. Amen. So be transparent. With God. <laughs> like, be yes. transparent. Oh. And he will as long as you're saying, I want I'm coming to you, mm-hmm. renew me, change my mind if that's what you want to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But answering your question, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, there's absolutely nothing wrong mm-hmm. with having that expectation True. of your future husband. Mm-hmm. First of all, I just want to point out, obviously the topic is dating and mm-hmm. that's what we're addressing, but that's not your whole purpose in life is to look for a husband or wait for your husband. True. Actually, you're the it's not an achievement. Yeah, Achieve. you know, like mm-hmm. it is something to be proud of, yes. to say, wow, I'm proud of my yeah. marriage. 
I want to get married, aspire for it. People feel ashamed for one day, you know. But in the meantime, we should be working, you know, for God's kingdom. Hallelujah! You know, yeah. you know, we all be yes. told mm-hmm. to, you know, the commission yeah. is all to make disciples. Mm-hmm. Right? But um, that's, girl, yeah. have that expectation. Of course, your man is supposed to be godly. Mm-hmm. Especially, I always say this, you know, when you look at the model of marriage, the, the, the biblical model of marriage and the biblical model of a household, the man is the leader in the house. Mm-hmm. This doesn't mean that you don't <laughs> have an important role that, mm-hmm. you know, the Bible actually said, I read it this morning, it says that man is not independent of woman, woman is not independent of man, we okay. all each other. So, basing it back, taking it back to the model of marriage, a man, the brother, is supposed to lead you. <laughs> I'm not gonna submit to yeah. a man who's not who worthy. Not. Of and my he should submission. cultivate you as yeah. well. I think that's an important word. Cultivate. I was like, okay, God, what do you mean by cultivate? And you know, the, re- the revelation I got from it is, you know what? It's not like it's anything that's not in you, but he has to have the ability to bring out the yeah. best in you. You know. And I think one thing that's important that you said is, you don't just wait in jail. Like, okay, one day I'm gonna meet the perfect person and he's gonna fill me up. You are already whole as you are, and you're gonna have to meet another whole human being, yeah. and together you're fulfilling the will of God in, in whatever your marriage, in your yeah. marriage, right? So even when it comes to being single or in the dating relationship, you're supposed to be waiting for that covenant while working. You know, you just don't like, oh wow, well, I'm just waiting. I'm gonna start doing this when I'm married. No, yeah. as a single person, you're supposed to work towards that. Okay, so Mina. Could you also respond to the question of expectations? Do you ever think our expectations are too high? Um, I think the one thing that I remember a friend of mine told me, and he was, he says that the devil's biggest success was making us believe that his perversions were God's creation. Wow, so a lot that's of time profound. Right now is that can you repeat that? Oh, can you the just devil's great, the, de- the devil's greatest success is making us believe that his perversions are God's creation. So when you look at relationships and it's just looking like it's crumbling and it's bad and you know what, this is the standard. Like our family is a relationship, back shying, baby, mom saying nothing, your husband is doing this, mom's like, no, but that's how it's always been. Then it was like, well, you know, that's what God said, but <laughs> that's the biggest lie. Mm-hmm. And those expectations that the world is making us look foolish for is what God's going to use to make us wise. And I love, and in Corinthians where Apostle says, your foolishness is going to be what God uses to express his wisdom. Okay, the world is looking at us like these girls are crazy. Mm-hmm. That man does not exist. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? We're looking like we're foolish. Mm-hmm. But I got so encouraged by that word when he says, that foolishness of that word, I mean, he's, he's talking about his own life, about how he's working, not how he's busy preaching the gospel, not how he's no value. But he's like, <laughs> I look like a complete idiot. True. But mm-hmm. I know that this word that I'm looking foolish for, God has such a greater glory for it mm-hmm. so that yeah, raise it extra <laughs> i just love yeah. you that's so amazing i really really like that that also gives me comfort and i know godly men still exist mm-hmm. i i know i have conviction because i have seen them i have like brothers mm-hmm. around me who are just so yeah. profound i have seen friends i, I know yeah. it's possible guys it's possible. and think of it if women who honor God and who are wanting to fervently pursue God still exist to this day. Because there are guys out there who are like, they don't exist. We exist, right? We yeah. exist. We're here. So surely there are also guys out there who yeah. do the exact same thing. We know them. You know? Yeah, he laughed, just so you know. <laughs> All right. So um, this fourth question I have for you guys is, would you date a guy whose friends and family don't like you? Yes. And you are saying? Yes. <laughs> okay, why? Okay, so I said yes, firstly, based on this man. Firstly, I won't date you if God hasn't said it's you. Mm-hmm. Don't waste that time. Mm-hmm. And if God has said it's you, there is no man, there mm-hmm. is no friend, mm-hmm. there is no family mm-hmm. that's going to stop this. In fact, what we God will has put together, let no man fast. Uh-huh. We will make sure this, because you know what? If Whatever puts you guys together is supposed to do something for the world, is supposed to shame the devil, or he will fight you. Mm-hmm. That's the reality. Mm-hmm. We are not we are we have not been said to not fight a war. Actually we've been said to fight a war. We yeah. are warriors. That's very profound. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah, so okay. If if we have been brought together by God and we both 
have that conviction in our hearts that this is a godly union. And because it, it, it would not make sense, first of all, mm -hmm. for us to both have that conviction mm -hmm. and for the people around us not to. Mm -hmm. Then obviously they, there's something at work in them that is not godly because God is not a God of confusion. Mm -hmm. Why would he do that? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I did take into consideration that um, as an individual, you, as a, as a godly individual, mm -hmm. you respect your parents and you mm -hmm. respect your parents of your partner and you honor them. So if something has been brought together by God, that is good. And they cannot see that, they cannot respect that. What is at work in their hearts, mm -hmm. you know? So the best you can do from there, you know, if we're talking about spiritually, is pray, you know? Pray, pray for and them, fast, pray for them to get that revelation. Restoration. Okay, the last question. Would you ever be open to being a second wife? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want your answer? Okay. No. Yes. Okay. Why? Let's talk about right. this. <laughs> okay. First of all, I think mm -hmm. the best example of marriage in the Bible is between Christ and the church. Yes. Now, when it refers to Christ and the church, it calls Christ the groom, and the church is the bride. Oh, yes. Yeah. Not bridegrooms. <laughs> yes. You know, although we have multiple, if I'm going to use that model, if I'm elaborating on it, although we have multiple places of worship, we're all a part of one body of Christ. There's only one body. One. They are not one. multiple bodies. One. Mm -hmm. So that's my first example that a man and a single woman are supposed to be joined together. Nothing. <laughs> and I say, because I always think about that whole one body. It didn't say bodies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One body. One body. And that exchange is not just physical. It's a spiritual exchange. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, if I'm going to make a soul tie with you, I'm not expecting to make soul ties with, with other people. I, I treasure mm -hmm. my soul mm -hmm. and all. And mm -hmm. then me, I go making soul ties with everybody. Yeah. Multiple. No, peace. definitely. Sorry. No. Never. Yes. Sad. And I think it's. Never. Never. Multiple. It's not even possible. I totally get you. Practically, like, how's it going to work? Like. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, okay. Right. Right. So, right. So, guys, we're done with this part of the conversation. Thank you so much for joining us. MB Moments. Please kindly subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And also like and share and like comment and like do the things right. And if you'd like to have them back, please just you know comment yeah. below. They're amazing young ladies, and I'm sure you got something out of it. Toodles! See you in the next one. <laughs>